In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct the wing for the uh, twin boom plane, which I call Power Glide. And uh, the materials you're going to need for uh, constructing this wing is uh, two sheets of Dollar Tree foam board, uh, some packing tape. It can be colored packing tape or just clear packing tape, whatever your preference is. Um, you're going to need a 3 8 inch dowel rod, which you can pick up at Menards or Home Depot and uh, the electronics that you're going to use to install in this wing, your servos and your servo wires. Okay, you're also going to want to cut out a couple, well four of these pieces um, out of styrofoam. I'll use the, uh, the pink insulation foam from Home Depot. Uh, if you don't have any of that, use whatever you have laying around. You can use the, uh, the um, the Dollar Tree foam board also you might have to double it up though um, but the size of these pieces are going to depend on the the cord of your wing you know depending on what size you make it mine is seven inches and uh, I actually didn't measure the length of my uh, pieces here I uh, kind of pretty much just eyeballed it you know to, to fit the shape of my Air Force but um, you're going to want two pieces like this with the notch on the bottom and then you're going to want two pieces like this with a notch on the top okay so I did most of this video uh, using just uh, photographs so it's going to be a slideshow but uh, you should be able to get you know the bill just by uh, the, des the descriptions that I have here if not you know leave a comment any questions you might have and I'll uh, I'll try to answer those questions. But here are the pieces here that you're going to be using. Uh, your 3 8 inch dowel rod, they come in 48 inch uh, uh, rods. So you can just cut that in half into two uh, two feet sections. And also we all know how to build the uh, arm and wing. If not, I recommend you go to Experimental Airlines on YouTube and he has very detailed videos on how to uh, construct the arm and wing. So you're going to need basic ideas on how to build the arm and wing before trying to uh, to build this one. But um, after you get your arm and wing set up and your pieces, your styrofoam pieces cut out and your, uh, your uh, dowel rod cut, then we're going to proceed to the next step. Okay, so now that you have your uh, wing built up to the point to right before you add your spar and everything um, this is where we're going to glue in uh, these styrofoam pieces I don't even know what to call them other than just spacers um, and I also should mention that this, this particular wing is going to be 60 inches and so um, at your center point you're going to glue in your two spacers that um, have the notch at the bottom and then I measured five inches out from the center line and that's where I put my other two pieces the ones that have the notch at the top okay so right here you want to uh, remove a half inch section of the paper on the uh, foam board because that's going to be our folding point for our dihedral in the wing okay so now we can uh, go ahead and, and uh, put our spars in place and you can see how the uh, the end of it goes right into the notch on the bottom of those center pieces and then the uh, the rest of it rests on that top notch on the outside piece and um, you can go ahead and glue those in place now uh, using hot glue and you can be pretty generous with the glue in this area okay so now we're gonna cut out a 10 inch section from the, uh, the center of our wing and what you can do is just measure out from the center point of your wing five inches to the left and five inches to the right and uh, cut that out that'll give you your 10 inch section and then go ahead and install your uh, servos and run the servo wires and uh, you can cut a notch out in the top to bring those out uh, I, I chose to bring them out towards the front because once we install this on the fuselage you'll see that it's more um, it's better to just bring it out from the front like this so 
Uh, go ahead and run your wires and bring them out uh, through a notch in the front. Um, only thing that's going to be going through there are your servo wires unless you decide to put anything else in the wing. Uh, so you, a small notch is, will be just fine. And uh, from this point we can go ahead and uh, fold over our centerpiece only and um, go ahead and glue that down. Also when you glue down your center portion of the wing uh, make sure you put hot glue on those uh, spacers as well before you glue down the trailing edge. Okay, so after you get your spar glued in place, and uh, right here, of course, you're gonna have your other piece of uh, styrofoam. But this is just a demonstration. Then what I did was I just folded the half a wing up just like that. And then I uh, glued it in place. Just be pretty generous with the hot glue. Add some more in there. Just hold it there until the hot glue dries. And so now that gives you your dihedral. So now all you have to do Add your uh, other piece of foam board with the with the paper peeled on both sides. That helps keep your uh, airfoil shape. So now from this point, you just fold over the other half of the, uh, the top half of your wing. And then okay, so here's the finished wing, and uh, if you notice on on the most of my wings on uh, you know my on my planes, uh, I use the arming wing, but I also usually sweep the ailerons. Well, I haven't cut these ailerons out yet, but uh, back here, the uh, it's it's a two and a, two and a half inches. The aileron is, and then down here, I'm filming. I'm using the iPad, and this is okay. So it's not that easy, but so. Down here from here to here, my aileron is two and a half inches. Same thing down here for right now. But on all of my wings, I usually sweep the aileron. So I usually measure from a little bit two and a half inches down there. But on this end, it's going to end up being an inch and a half, which gives you kind of a sweep on your aileron which gives the illusion that the sweep is on your wing so it gives it a you know give it a, that swept look which uh, I kind of like on my plane so um, I'm gonna do that right now and then uh, you'll see the finished product okay so now you can see how uh, after I cut the aileron you can see how that uh, you know gives it that swept look well that's the look that I go for on my wings I don't know why I just like the look the straight way would be just fine but I like the way this looks with the uh, with the sweep in it and so so there's the wing you still have to cut out here where you're gonna put your uh, you know your um, your booms are gonna go you know, depending on what size uh, motor and prop you're going to use, you want to cut that uh, distance out. I'm actually going to cut out about 12 inches because I'm going to experiment with some different size props. Uh, I think I'm going to try a, a, a 10 inch prop on this one. Uh, a slow fly prop, see if I can get this to fly, how slow I can get it to fly. And uh, so you're going to want to do that. Uh, 
I installed my servos. I'm using two Solar Metal Gear, Gear, Metal Gear servos, and these are from Hobby Parts. And uh, I use these on another plane, and they seem to work out fine. So uh, they should work out good on this one. So. So that's that so far, and uh, we get the ailerons cut and uh, push rods installed, and then we'll move on to the uh, fuselage. But that's the wing, so uh, if you got any questions <coughs> on that, it's pretty straightforward. If, uh, you know how to build the arm and wing. I only added the, uh, the V dihedral in there and so uh, so that's that um, so let's get the fuselage built <laughs>